In the heart of Waikiki, just beside the beach, an ocean he loved, you'll find a flower-draped statue honoring one of Hawaii's greatest heroes, Duke Kahanamoku. Duke shattered world swimming records, competed in the Olympics for an unprecedented 20 years, introduced surfing to the world, pioneered Hawaii's visitor industry, and became the 50th state's official ambassador of aloha. Let's take a look at his remarkable life and accomplishments. Hawaiian God. He was pure Hawaiian, big, strong, gentle, and humorous. In 1959, we weren't a state yet, and people had no idea what Hawaii was all about, but they knew Duke Kahanamoku. He's a Hawaiian, he's, a, he's the most important thing, he's a pure Hawaiian. And uh, if you are Hawaiian, you're going to have uh, some kind of love because you're Hawaiian, you know. During the waning years of the Hawaiian monarchy, Duke Kahanamoku was born into two prominent Hawaiian families, the Kahanamokus and the Pawas. He was born in 1890. When he was born, Kalakaua was the king. A year later, Lili Oklani was. Two years later, the Hawaiian monarchy was overthrown. And all of this happened within 10 years of his life. His father had worked his way up through the ranks of the police department and eventually became a captain, which is, was a very respected position in the community. His mother was a very religious woman who had a very strong sense of the family's ancestry. The oldest of nine children, Duke grew up on Kalia Road in Waikiki, where the Hilton Hawaiian Village now stands. There were also 31 cousins from the Pawa side of the family. Duke talked about having all these, all these cousins and as a little kid there and swimming and crabbing and, and he said the men would climb up these big coconut trees. After completing elementary school, Duke entered the Kamehameha Industrial School for Boys, but dropped out before graduating. While academics were not his strong suit, he soon began to distinguish himself in a sport he would one day revolutionize. But the Duke was, you know, he was so powerful. God, he had to, it's unbelievable the kick that he had. He looked like a big tugboat back there, you know. It was such tremendous force that he had. His head was almost, his nose was above the water. He could see very clearly ahead. Sensing that he had a future in competitive swimming, he honed his skills in the neighborhood canal. On August 12, 1911, Duke was given the chance to prove he was a world-class swimmer at Hawaii's first AAU 100-yard swim meet in Honolulu Harbor. He broke the world's record by more than four seconds, which was absolutely unheard of. The New York swimmers, if they were breaking world's records, they were breaking it by tenths of a second. The amateur athletic union people, they were so astonished, they said, this can't be true. Disbelief on the part of mainland officials led to the record being thrown out. But the people of Hawaii knew they had an Olympic champion. They rallied behind their great Hawaiian hope and raised funds to send him to the 1912 Olympic Games. But in order to make the American Olympic team, he had to prove himself at the national championships in Philadelphia. Exhausted from the long trip and unaccustomed to pool swimming, Duke's mainland debut was not what he had hoped for. He dives into an indoor pool. He swam as fast as he could to the other end. He stood up, he turned around, swam back again, and then he sank to the bottom of the pool, unconscious. The proverbial fish out of water, Duke had to learn the basics of pool swimming, such as making turns and breathing through the mouth. But he came back from that. He swam in a succession of races, 
and he did extremely well. So he was able to show his stuff and he was able to win the national championship. Once in Stockholm for the Olympics, he set a world record for the 100 meter freestyle in a preliminary heat. And on July 6, 1912, he won the gold medal in that event. From that moment on, Duke and Hawaii would never be the same. He is legendary and iconic from the minute he wins the Olympics, beats the world. I mean, from that second on, it's not like growing into becoming a legend. He's a legend from that second. So everybody wanted his autograph. They're great for autographs in Europe, you know. I think what Duke did, he provided us with a, he went away with an idol, which we have been lacking since the days of the monarchy. And because of his world renown as a swimmer, and the fact that people accepted him as a Hawaiian, it helped the self-conception of the people of Hawaii, and we're still important. In 1940,